Ata for not moving my wedding date to accommodate my sister's pregnancy? I, 25 female, have a sister, Ella, 28 female. Ella and I have always been close growing up, despite her being three years older. We've always been best friends. I was her MOH, and she's mine. Ella is currently five months pregnant. She had a rough first trimester, throwing up three to four times a day, always tired. Some days she couldn't get out of bed, literally. She had also found out early when she was a month into it because her symptoms were so bad. Her and I live close to each other, and since her husband travels a lot for work, I have stayed with her a lot since I work remotely. My fiance and I had originally set the date for July. However, seeing how sick she was, I, along with my entire family, were getting worried. And so after my fiance and I discussed it, we decided to reschedule the wedding until after she had passed her first trimester. Per her doctor, she was supposed to get better. I need to add that no one asked this of us, but I felt it was needed. And thank God she did get better. She's eating normally, going out and back to herself. Seeing this, my fiance and I talked about our wedding again. I had always wanted a summer wedding on the beach, but I didn't want to wait a full year and seeing winter wedding pictures was slowly growing on me. And so, we decided on a December wedding. The invitations were finalized last week with the date and were all sent a couple of days ago. Yes, it's early, but my man and I all have big families, big group of friends and colleagues. We need the RSVPS early. Yesterday, I got an angry phone call from my sister asking how can I do something like this to her? I was honestly confused and told her as much, and she went on to rant about how inconsiderate I was to not wait until my nephew is born, that her being MOH and eight months pregnant is going to be hard, and that she has already been through hell. I calmly explained to her that while yes, she is MOH, I don't expect her to go above and beyond. My best friend and her had already planned a girl's night back when my wedding was in July, so we're just going with that again. Everything is already bought and my best friend will set it up. I told her that my man and I have also rebooked everything ourselves. Flowers, venue and catering are going to be done by our friends who have their own shops and companies. And that I'll pay to have her dress resized to accommodate her bump. I'm even taking care of hair and makeup for all my wedding party. A sort of pamper session where we'll all get ready together and take pictures. All she's required to do is show up She's having none of it and is demanding we reschedule it again until next summer. I put my foot down and gave her a flat out no. My parents called me and asked me to reconsider, saying that I know she's emotional and hormonal. I told them that's not an excuse for her to act like a bitch. Any opinions, art, advice are much appreciated. Edit. First of all, thank you for all the comments and advice. I'm definitely seeing her side more than I was before. I do need to clarify some things that I didn't add in the post. When we rescheduled the wedding, her and Bill had my fiance and I over for dinner. We do weekly dinners every Friday. She thanked me for rescheduling and told me she felt guilty. I made sure to tell her that I don't blame her, that having her there, healthy and happy is what matters, in whatever capacity she can give me. I made sure she knew that she could step down from MOH at any point, even if it was a day before the wedding, and that I would understand. That dinner. My man and I also floated the idea of a winter wedding around, and both her and her BIL said it would be fun since we haven't had that in our family yet. We also chose the date around many of our family's schedules, along with our friends' availabilities, who were also being gracious enough to still do our wedding flowers, catering, and renting us the venue, despite us rescheduling it once already. We didn't decide anything lightly. Also, I might update if I ever figure out how. Because my parents called and invited me to their house so my sister and I can talk it out. I have no idea why she's using a third party, even if it's our parents. Update. I want to say thank you for all the advice and opinions. Each and every one helped a lot. 
to see where I went wrong in her side of the story. I realize and agree that I was so, so, so damn wrong to, one, move the date to winter and December of all months, not only when she would be heavily pregnant, but also with Christmas around the corner. Two, not discussing the specific date beforehand with her and asking for her opinion. While I've never been pregnant, I did watch many of my friends and cousins go through it, not to mention my own sister, and should have been more considerate and empathetic. My fiance and I should have also kept in mind that doing it around Christmas time was selfish, because even though we had decided not to do a wedding registry except gifts on both wedding dates, we should have taken into consideration that dresses, suits, gas are still costly. That was our privilege showing, and we are assholes for it. People were also questioning me about why my sister was informed about the date through a card. That's because she hasn't been involved in the planning all that much, the way she asked, so she doesn't stress out, which was fair enough. And since she didn't have responsibilities, I didn't tell her which, again, I should have done. As I mentioned in my original post, I was invited to my parents' house, my sister using them as a third party, and I was asked to update by a few people, and so here it is. I ended up going yesterday with my fiancé, as some of you mentioned in case it was a gang-up situation. They were not expecting my fiancé, that was clear, but they didn't ask him to leave either. We sat down, and I felt like I needed to start off the conversation, and so I did. And I apologized first and foremost, then talked to them honestly about the three things that I mentioned above. I noticed while I was talking that my parents were engaging us, giving us their POVs. My sister, however, was sitting to the side, not all that interested in what I was saying. I tried to address her, first with the apology, then when we were trying to come up with solutions, all I got was one-word answers. I'm not going to lie, I was getting frustrated, and I wasn't discreet about it after a few failed attempts. She seemed to pick up on it, and that set her off. Not just verbally, I mean throwing pillows. When those ran out, she threw her juice at me and finally, a pen, all while screaming about how unfair it is that my wedding is still overshadowing her pregnancy. My fiancé, bless him, took the brunt of the juice and pillows. Obviously, I didn't retaliate, not only because she's pregnant and I was in shock, but also because I've never been in a physical fight in my life. After that, she started screaming and wailing and stormed off to her old bedroom. I looked at my parents, bewildered, expecting them to say something, anything. When they didn't, I asked my fiancé to leave and stormed off as well. My fiancé and I are still talking about what to do. We also called his parents and siblings for advice. May update once we figure something out.